Are you serious? Are you serious? Asteroids! 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 I mean, they're still happening every day. Whoa! Whoa! And again today, you're going to have another asteroid. It's going to go whizzing by the Earth. It's not going to hit us, but this is asteroid 2017 JA2. It is a, uh, a 43 meter diameter. Okay, so this thing, you know, is about 130 feet wide. Huge. I mean, that would be a huge impact if it hit the Earth. It won't. Uh, it's going to near miss us. Uh, it will go by our by the Earth here, about 500,000 miles from the Earth, just 2.6 lunar distance. Okay, won't hit us. But the, here's the deal: every day, listen to what's happened. Uh, May 7th, we had one. May 8th, we had two. May 9th, we had two near misses. May 10th, we had one. Yesterday, we had two. And today, we got one closer than all of them. All right? And this 2017 JA2 will go by at 2.6 lunar distance. And you don't get much of a break. You got one tomorrow. You got one on Sunday. You got one next Monday. And it just continues. And... NASA keeps spotting more and more and more and more and more, so they have to keep adding them to the chart. So you can look at the chart and say, we're okay Saturday. No, you don't know that. They could spot one within two hours of approaching the Earth, whizzing by at a, I've seen them whiz by at 0 0.2, 0.02, like 30, 40,000 miles. I mean, these things are barely scraping by past the Earth. The number of asteroids in this galactical belt that we're in is numbers unprecedented. And so are the fireballs. We had 24 fireballs that broke into the Earth's atmosphere uh, two nights ago. Last night we had 12 more, okay? They just keep breaking and there's the center of the Earth and there's all the fireballs going, shoo, 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 coming from different directions. There's your near miss asteroid chart, all right? That's how many are gonna go by the Earth. That's the dates, that's how big they are. That's how close they're gonna be. And this chart just keeps getting updated because the numbers are off the charts, if you will, coming by us. So you need, to, I have to give you a heads up because the Bible tells us we're going to have at least two deep, deep impacts. And those are biblical impacts. That's not counting the impacts we're going to get that's not recorded in the scripture because maybe they're not cataclysmic or, or catastrophic earth, you know, killing a third of the world. But certainly an asteroid could hit and kill 100,000 people to a half a million people. That can happen. And that, not, and that wouldn't even be considered the wrath of God. That's just the, the probabilities. Now, while this is going on, you need to know the speed of the sun's solar winds have increased to 404 kilometers per second. And while that's going on, we got hit yesterday with a stealth CME impact. The slow-moving stealth CME swept past the Earth yesterday, the, uh, actually Wednesday. The impact was so gentle, it was almost unnoticed, except we had earthquakes, okay, a 6.5 in, uh, in the uh, South Sandwich Islands. However, there was a periodic disturbance in the solar wind near the Earth, waves of south-pointing magnesium that slightly disturbed the geomagnetic field, no auroras were observed. Now, today we're going to see if Mike from the world would join us. We hope he will to get an update on the five waves of energy and anything else that we can find out about Planet X. But, I mean, obviously, the five waves of energy, we've had two of them, but we're still feeling the, the, the really, we're still feeling that second wave. It's just, it's that dense it's that dense as we go through it and it uh it's there's a disturbance in the heavens the heavens are shaking there's no question about it jesus said that would be one of the apocalyptic signs of the end times and um wow we're seeing it okay read luke 21 so it's certainly going on i'm going to get you up to speed on all of this mike around the world to join us today we hope to have him on the air if it's possible and uh, we realize that he's been very busy. But the, the, the situation is this, the five waves of energy. He told us that there's going to be some more waves. 
And we're going to feel some serious impacts uh, from this second wave, some more jolts in the June and in July that we're really going to see a spike like we did in March, but even more. And that one was pretty powerful. So we're going to find out some more information. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Calm down even. Get a cup of coffee if you can. and Just relax. But be prayed up and ready. We're in the last days.